I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing great. That's awesome. Well, today we got kind of a boring thing amidst the coronavirus outbreak. We are going to the VW dealership for this reason. Dun, dun, dun. We got a little airbag light. What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Ah, uh, well, I'm happy it's gonna get fixed. So am I. All right, we'll see you up at the store. Hey, you look a little different. Did you take a shower today? I did. Did you do something differently here? Why, what, what's different? I don't know, it looks different to me. All right. Do you still have school? No, it's all canceled because of that coronavirus. You know, I can't get the coronavirus. Why's that? Because I have 300 rolls of toilet paper. Ah! Is that how you prevent it? It is. What are we doing today? I just told you, we're going to... Oh yeah, that's the right. Dealership. Do you think it will be busy there? Uh, probably not. All right. Well, let's see what they say. I would imagine there's nothing really wrong with the car. I don't think there's anything wrong either. But for the lack of something better to do today, we can go up there and do that. Maybe they'll let us drive a car. That would be awesome. All right, until we get there. Tyler, you know how last week we reviewed the Jetta? Yeah. I'm sitting with my heated seats on. And I'm re really enjoying it. I, I can't wrap my head around why a $25,000 smaller sedan can have rear heated seats, but this can't. And, and we have like the level yeah. of the R line. And for whatever reason, I mean, granted we didn't order this from the factory. And I don't think this has the cold weather package. Right. But why wouldn't they have just put it on there? I'm kind of mad now. We got and 11, you don't have a heated steering wheel. We got 11,000 miles. I just found out my world has ended. I don't have rear heated seats or a heated steering wheel, and I paid way more than the price of that super cheap Jetta. Well, all I can say is make sure to get it next time. If you're watching this video right now and you're deciding on what options to choose on a Volkswagen, get the cold weather package so your passengers in the rear seats can be comfortable just like you. Good news, Ty. What is it? Look at airbag light is off. Oh, there's no more airbag light. And we're inside the shop. Yeah. And wait, did you just do something to your hair? No. I mean, are you sure? I'm pretty sure this is just me. All right, well, I mean, it was early when I picked you up. So. Were you just tired? Uh, probably just tired. Look at all these cars in here. We there's got an all track, a Touareg. There's a nice little GTI. GTI. Another Touareg in um, front of us, another Touareg over there. Everybody likes Touaregs. Everybody likes Touaregs. Our buddy Nick helped us out. No appointment necessary. That was nice that we didn't have to make an appointment just to get the code fixed. So there is something to be said about being loyal to a dealership. To a dealership and, and your sales guy. There's the GLI Jetta. That is nice. Why That's pretty cool. Do one zip around the yeah, parking let's, lot. Let's go around the parking lot. There's some GTI. The airbag light was a passive thing from like January 12th. So huh. they just had to reset it and then go. Go. I don't. I don't know what I was saying. They just had to reset it. So we shouldn't see another one. Well, that's good. That is good. I was gonna ask Nick if we can permanently disable this auto start stop. Oh, you forgot. Next time. Next time. So in the showroom, there was that Atlas, uh, I call it the coupe, because that's what the Porsche Cayenne does. But it's technically an Atlas Cross Sport. Which gives you that slanted rear end. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It looks really cool. So we are trying to get that thing reviewed for you guys. I doubt that it will happen, um, but it could happen. It could. If we get more subscribers, we have more chances to be able to do this. Right. That is very true. So if you guys smash the subscribe and like button on all of our videos, we get better chances at dealerships to review cars for you guys. We can review pretty much any used car that yes. we want. 
I think they would let us review most of their used cars. Point of the story, subscribe to us, and we will give you hey, look, another GTI content. Lots of GTIs here today. Yes. Zero Golf R's. I've always wondered what the, the point dune. of the dune is. Back in the day, didn't they make dune buggies out of like old Volkswagens? Yeah, it was a uh, Myers something or... So do you think that maybe that's like... Them th a giving retro? a throwback? Yeah. 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 Well, there were more people there than I thought that there were. I told you it was going to be busy. You were right. It's always busy there. I don't know how everybody... I think it's because there's so many VWs that have the diesel engine. They're still getting repairs. Right. They're always busy. I agree. Well, this was kind of a boring video, but we got to see an actual DSG transmission. Oh, they're super small. Which is, I wish we should have... Recorded it. Recorded it. But it's like this big and like that thick, and that's the whole DSG. Yep. And then... Somehow it does stuff inside of it. Yeah, and it makes you do stuff so the car goes forward. Yeah. I mean, that's technical. I know, and we don't expect you guys to understand. <laughs> but, all right. All the warning lights are off. It's time to go sanitize our hands and get away from the coronavirus. Yep. And I like what you did with your hair. Thank you. All right, awkward high five. Uh, we'll see you next time. And make sure to subscribe. And like. Welcome back to the end. To the end, yeah. We forgot some stuff, sorry guys. So, we're in the talking to Nick, our guy. Go check him out, awesome guy. If you live anywhere within a couple hundred miles, come here, Nick will help you out, he'll give you a deal. Tell him that you know us. And you'll get... We'll, we'll work with you. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Nick told us that Tyler is only the second person in that dealership's history that has successfully broken a DSG transmission. Clarification, guys. It's not successfully broken yet. They haven't been able to replicate the problem I have. But it's broken. And with that, we'll leave you until next time. Yeah.